Oh, is this in the way? No, you're fine. I, if you want to leave it, you can leave it. It's our love. Anyway. Hey! <laughs> hey, y'all! Hey, y'all! This video is actually sponsored by Rain. We got our first sponsor, guys. Anyway, okay. For those of you who don't know, that's Bethany. That's Bethany girl. Miss Bethany, I'm not giving you her last name because yeah. I don't want her to get stuck. My whole government name and social security number <laughs> and my address. She actually lives in Buffalo, Wisconsin. That's where we're at right now, y'all. Y'all yeah. see that sun? Anyway. What sun? Today we are... I stole this video off of some other booktuber, whatever. We have prompts, we have 15 prompts and we're gonna do random number generator and see what prompts we get. And then we're gonna go to church and buy our books. Yeah, church. <laughs> oh, the building's right there, but we can't I'm see it. my big ass head. No, you fine, babe. Beautiful. You demonetize, they can't say bad words. No, it's okay. I said, I think in my last video I said two bad words, but they weren't that bad. But I'm probably not gonna say f bombs, but I feel like that would be fun. When I and I get super famous and rich. Like Brittany Bursky. Like our mom, by the way. That's our biological mother. No, yeah, we're blood sisters. Blood and sister. she's our mother. Mm -hmm. Brittany Bursky. Brittany. Brittany Bursky. What's her middle yeah. name? Do you know? No. no. Well, Brittany Bursky isn't her real name, though. That's her, like, stage name. I thought Broski was her last name. Oh, it might be. I don't know. But she said that. Anyway, I think our, maybe that is her government name. Bethany Broski is my last name. Lauren Broski is my yeah. name. Yeah. We're gonna do the random number generator and then I'll tell you what the prompt is because I need my phone and we're vlogging on the phone. We're gonna get some super cool B-roll, y'all. B-roll's gonna be insane. Wait, let me just send it to Bethany really fast. Hold on. Oh my gosh, some girl today had literally the line of phone cases that I have. She had a one that was like it, like mm -hmm. off the same line. And I was like, hey girl. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I was looking at her boobies. She had a tattoo right there and her shirt, like her biddies were almost out. And I uh -huh. was like, <laughs> I love your phone case! <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I washed my hair today, so I'm shedding. I'm so glad you washed your hair today. <laughs> Three numbers. First number. And we're gonna pick our own books for our first one that we get. And then we're gonna pick books for each other for the third one. Yeah. Why is this lighting so good? Why we look tan? Know. You look really tan. I look tan. You do look tan. I'm glad I look tan. She looks tan so a little school. I didn't want to wear pants, so. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want to wear a button. Generating first number is 12. 12. We're going to go look at 12. I'm going to put a screenshot right here. Okay. Right here. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> number 12 is a book with a blue cover. Ooh, mm -hmm. book with a blue cover. That's one. Okay. That's going to be for both of us. We both get to pick a book with blue cover. 14. 14. Recommended by a friend. <gasps> Ooh, I'm kind of glad we got that one. Oh my god. Okay, the last one was 15. A green book cover. Oh my god. So we're picking each other out a green book cover. Blue cover, phone a friend, green book cover. All right, let's do it, y'all. Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna do. Um, <laughs> Look at her. Look at her! Oh my god! Hi! Yeah. First day of school pictures. First day of school. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to buy Hunting Adeline. I've already read Hunting Adeline. Oh. <laughs> We have our books. Can we talk about the fact that we have green and blue book covers? Wait, that is... Can we just show you my bookshelf? <gasps> Bethany's feeding me. Bethany's gonna give me food. That's the way to keep me around, y'all. If you wanna be friends with me, feed me. <laughs> you can be mean to me, actually. You can be like, not a good friend, but if you feed me food, then I'll be your friend forever. Wait, can we look at the classics? Yeah. I wanna look at the classics. <laughs> It's against the rules. It's against the rules. Can this thing please? Please, dear Jesus. It was working earlier. Why is it not now? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna pay you. Take two. We're filming. There's the button. It's recording. Okay. But we messed up. Lauren didn't hit record. Should we go 
going to do it again. From the top. Go ahead, Bethany. What's your blue book? My blue book was A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross. It's been on my TBR for uh, like a hot minute. Pretty blue. Grip it like a small, small, small child's arm. Pretty blue. My blue book was Done and Dusted. And they're kissing on the front. Ew, gross. Why is her jawline popping though? Can we talk about that? Done and Dusted, it's a romance about cowboys. All the book girlies love it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Done and Dusted. I've heard good things about this. It's also a series. Phone a friend book. Okay, my phone a friend was Miss Gabrielle. Gabby, she said, Gabrielle suggested I get any Penelope Douglas book, which I've never read a Penelope Douglas book. I've seen this anywhere and everywhere, all over the medias of social. Punk 57 was my book by Penelope Douglas. Don't know what it's about. It Looked like some school kids or something. It's a it's a bully romance. Bully romance. We love enemies to lovers. We love enemies. But he bullies her. Bullies her. Mmm. Okay. Don't knock it till so you try it though. Because I read that book. Yeah, I liked it when I read it. My phone and friend book, my friend Delaney. Thank you, Delaney. Shout out Miss Delaney. Said her mommy likes Freedom McFadden. So I got a Freedom McFadden book. The Housemaid by Freedom McFadden. You need to let me know how that is when you read it. I'm so excited to read it because it's a very popular thriller book. If you're on the book talk webs, then you've definitely heard of this book. And I've been looking for an excuse to buy it. Okay, Freedom McFadden, The Housemaid. So... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mad at myself. Bethany, you don't understand how upset I am with myself It's, right it's now. okay, it's okay. Our last book was a green cover that we picked out for each other. The book I picked out for Miss Lauren was A Feather So Black. By Lyra Celine. The thing up here says dark and dangerous and teeming with romance. What does teeming mean? Full. Like frothing with like romance? Just overflowing with romance. Spilling out of the sides of romance. Ew. Actually, don't say that ever. Again. <laughs> so, basically, it sounds like. She did. Anyway, she's a spy and she gets sent to save some princess. <laughs> and the guy that she goes with is like her bestie dude friend from like childhood mm -hmm. and it seems like they love each other and they're like so good together but then she gets captured and then she gets captured and she kind of getting a thing for her captor mm. those are always love good enemies so <laughs> <laughs> look how big she, how many pages of this? i actually don't know she, she kind of there's extras oh there's 400 and something pages that's so awesome why is there look please look there's a, a glossary i think i saw the word fetish Ooh. Oh no, it's fish. <laughs> well, it's like, we all know Delicious. what that means. Okay. And the book I bought from Miss Bethany, it's blue and green and black, so I kind of cheated. But um, I read this book, it's a great thriller. Miss Bethany has not read a lot of thrillers. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to get her on the thriller train because sometimes you don't want to read romance all the time. Anyway, I bought her The Girl on the Train by Paula Woo! Hawkins. <sighs> you know, the applause in the background. Yeah. Ah! What if I just clip that and use that audio after everything? <laughs> something happened, I just clip that. The girl on, a, on the train is our main character, is our main female lead. Her name is Rachel. But she sees some stuff when she's riding on the train to work one day. And then she's like, ooh, what's going on there? And then she just turns into Little Miss Detective. And then she thinks she can insert herself in the situation. But the situation does pertain to her. The girl on the train by Paula Hawkins. It is now yours. Grip it. Grip it. Look at Okay. Show your stack. Oh, and I did get an extra book because this was book was buy one get one fifty, and I can't just not get a second book. She can't. Yeah, show the, show the people. Mm. Yo. Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, it's so colorful. It. Also, let's ignore the fact that I have an Amazon package coming in later that has like five or six books <laughs> in that package. So she got to build her library. She got to start somewhere. Yeah. These are my books. Whoa. Ooh, these kind of match. Why do these kind of match? I know. It looks so good though. I love the blue. Greens. I know. I'm so excited for this book. Can we talk about the cover? It's just so cute. Like it's so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's all, y'all. Um, like I said before. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Say bye to Bethany, y'all. Bye, 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 Bethany. Bye. bye. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching. Ooh. Why did it just cut off? I don't know. That is so, that's why we don't film on iPhones. But, uh, These young adult books, the um, the one about the the kids that got um, kidnapped and put in a laboratory and they were tested on and they like- Lab rats? They had um, the anatomy of birds, but they were humans. I've never heard of that. They had like really thin fragile bones, but they had wings. Oh, that's so sick. I've never heard of that. My Max. grandma has a lot of James Patterson books. I never did read his like actual like adult books though. Mm.
I don't know. It kind of he kind of gives me the same vibe as like what's his face that wrote all of those like um Stephen King. No, he writes books about places in North Carolina. Oh uh, no, I he wrote know. the Notebook. Him. Mm -hmm. He it's kind of the same vibe like older people books, and I don't know why, but I hate I don't like to read older people books because I'm I'm an ignorant youth. Oh, I was say and I don't want to read those types of books. I'll read a classic, but I won't read a James Patterson book or a Nicholas Sparks book. That's who it is. Wow. Um, those are the so books we bought. And then maybe in a later video, I'll update you guys on how I feel about books, about these books. Mm -hmm. so, actually, so we should. No, I'm gonna put your handle here. Go follow Bethany. Go follow. What? Go follow <laughs> Bethany. Get her to one meal, bro. To one meal. Okay. Thanks for um, watching, y'all. Say bye, Bethany. Bye, bye, bye Bethany. Bye, Bethany. Bye. <laughs> bye.